Okay, welcome to the video on how to add an iOS image to your VRAX. I've opened up the virtual machine to save time and I've navigated to a folder on my PC where I keep all of my iOS images. Just for this example, I'm going to copy a 2600 image. And then what I'll do is go back to my virtual machine, click on the icon of the monitor and click on File Manager, PC Fan. FM. Then what I want to do, just make sure directory tree is ticked at the top there, the radio button. And what I want to do then is navigate to the opt file, OPT, the folder, sorry. And again, this is within our virtual machine. So we're copying from our actual hard drive on our PC to our virtual machine. Go to the iOS folder. And what you can do is right click and paste the file that you copied from your hard drive into your virtual machine. Depending on how big the file is, it will obviously take longer or shorter amount of time to copy over. So this is where all of our iOS images are kept and we can then associate our iOS images with various routers available on the VRAC. I've right clicked and opened GNS3. I'm not going to uh, open up a new project for this video. So you can cancel out the window here. And you can see we've got a list of routers on the right here. Now, in order to get these routers working, uh, what you need to do is drag across whichever router you want from the list there onto the desktop. Now I've gone to edit and iOS images and hypervisors because if I try and drag a router over at the moment, it won't let me. Now I've clicked on the iOS image, the 2600 image, and it's allocated the correct platform and model you can go to Cisco's website if you want to find out the correct amount of RAM, but for the video, I'm just going to leave it as a default. The other thing to bear in mind is, uh, it should show on the screen in the moment, is your idle PC value would have to be configured. This is the thing you need to configure to stop your CPU on your PC from being overutilized. So we'll come to that bit in a moment. Now I've added the iOS image, I can actually drag the router model I, I wish to use over. So I've dragged a 2600 over. Now I actually clicked on the start button there. I shouldn't really have done that. I'll, I'll come to it in a moment because I just want to do some configurations. Click on there, right click on the router and then go down to idle PC. And you only need to set this once per uh, topology. It's already been set for the how to network topology file, but you may want to, may want to go in and just check this for yourself because there may be a better value. There's an asterisk next to the better idle PC value. So if you click on that and then click and apply and OK, it will then um, help enable your CPU to run a bit slower. Now, um, next thing is I'm just going to drag over some 37 series routers. These are the better models to be using for GNS3 because this, um, the image is more stable with this particular platform. I've right clicked on it and I've gone to configure because at the moment there's no um, WIC connections or WIC devices enabled. So what I've done is enabled a WIC 1T on this particular router. So routers 1 and 3 are going to be my hub, my spoke routers and the router at the bottom will be my spoke, my hub sorry. I've added a WIC 1T onto this router and then the one at the bottom, router 2 right clicked and configured and I'm going to enable a WIC 2T. The next thing I go up to the connectors tab and I want to connect my routers together. I'm going to connect serial 0 to serial 0 and then serial 0 down to serial 1 on the hub router. So I'm just building my own bespoke topology here. You can also save them if you if you want to save them for later use. Okay, and I've connect, connected the um, fast ethernet connections between the two top routers. Then I'll start all the devices. And as before, once they're all started, I can actually console to all devices and start configuring them as if I'm on live equipment. Now you should be able to click on the tab on the top there and it would show you which interfaces on the, on the topology here you've actually got configured, the interface numbers and device names. 
I'll console to all devices and as same as the first video you'll see your console windows open and you can start configuring your devices.